All right. So this is Kenny Santos out of Toronto, Canada for KennySantos.com. It is Wednesday. It's time for another personal development tip. Have you or are you one of the many that have already failed on their New Year's re resolution? Uh, uh, it's uh, February right now. Most people, they fail their New Year's resolution by the end of January, but certainly by the end of Febu the mid-February, February 15th, most people, they've given up on their New Year's resolution. Excuse me. Oh my goodness, it's cold out and I'm very thirsty. Sorry about that. So, do you want to know how to really, even if you f feel like you failed and it's too late to restart, do you want to know how to actually achieve your New Year's resolution goal? Because we're going to talk about that and it's something that's very doable. When you learn a technique, I hope that you re-engage your New Year's resolution if you have uh, decided that you're not going to do it and I hope that you decide to do it. Or if uh, you're still on track, maybe this will help you stay on track. But before I get into the content, I invite you to do something super simple. I invite you to like, subscribe, share, and comment. It is a super easy way and it's a simple way for you to support my blog and to support my channel and you can do it for free. And so the first thing you've got to do is make sure that your goals are smart. And uh, you know, I'm not going to do a whole video on this and uh, you know, cause there, it's been discussed a billion and one times, but smart goals are specific, measurable, achievable. I can't remember what the R, oh, the T is a uh, timeable. There's a certain time and I forgot what the R. Relevant, relevant goals. So those are the smart goals. If you want to learn more about that, just put in smart goals into a Google search and then they'll, they'll talk about that there. But make sure your goals are smart because if your goals aren't one of those smart goals, then it doesn't even matter, right? It doesn't matter because you know, it just, you'll understand if you know what those smart goals are. But one of the best things that you can do is this, and I'm going to use weight loss as, as, a, as a New Year's resolution goal. It's probably the number one or number two goal that people set at the beginning of each year. And let's say you want to lose 10 pounds this year. 10 is a great number to work with because when you understand the formula, you'll see that it's very workable. And basically what you do is you take your goal, whatever it is, in this case, lose 10 pounds, and you split it up over the year. All right, and let's say uh, there's 10 months left in the year because it's February now. And you say, you know what, I'm gonna lose a pound a month until the end of the year. A pound a month is something that anyone can do. Anyone can lose a pound a month if they need to lose weight. And then you just stay on that goal. And that way when you weigh yourself, and let's say you weigh yourself at the beginning of March and you realize you're X pounds and you wanna be X minus one pounds by the end of March, then you just kinda of stay on that goal. If, if you just put out this arbitrary goal of, I wanna lose 10 pounds by the end of the year, you're gonna procrastinate it, you are gonna let yourself go, you might actually gain weight and say, by the end of the year I need to weigh X minus 10 pounds, no. You know what, by the end of March, you want to weigh X minus one, and because weight loss, how it works is that you lose a lot of weight in the beginning, you might lose two, three, four, five pounds at the beginning, that's okay. You can, if you want, you can readjust your goal and make it more or less or whatever the case may be. But if you split it up, it makes it so much more manageable. You know if you're on track to your goal because at the end of April or May, you're X minus two or X minus three pounds, you're on your way to your goal. And it really makes it so much easier and so much more achievable if you break your goal up into smaller chunks and you also build confidence along the way. And confidence is super, sorry about that, confidence super duper important in achieving your goals. It helps you take more actions, and of course the more actions you take, the better results you get. So if you want some help achieving those New Year's resolutions that you may or may not have given up on, try this, try splitting up that goal, however it may be, and um, you know what, whether it's a week at a time, a month at a time, whatever it may be, it'll make it a lot more simple. So I trust you got some great value out of that. <laughs> Sorry, I, I trust you got some great value out of that. Again, I invite you to like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you want to see more videos just like this, go over to my blog, KennySantos.com. You can put your name and email in. You're going to get an awesome audio and grow in your business. Now remember this. Every day, multiple times a day, the universe sends us miracles. We only got to do two things about that. We got to recognize those miracles. And then, of course, my favorite part, we get to accept those miracles. All right, take care and create a great day.